Miss Charlotte Wells to see the lady of the house. Notorious CW. Have we not all followed your exploits in the Grub Street Press? A string of keepers, their fortune squandered. A lover murdered in the park. Who insults me by inviting this brazen strumpet into my home? This is your mischief. Mm. For once, I cannot claim it. Come. Let me see the beauty that sent George Howard to an early grave. Your business may be slander, sir, but mine is with the lady. Well, I'll hear it. Miss Wells and I will take a turn. What do you want? My current benefactor, Mrs. Quigley, sends me in her hour of need. So that is it. How dare you come? Her situation is quite desperate. I've read about it in the evening rack. A stench of crime and kidnap. How much does she want? 500 pounds. Tomorrow. My brother holds my purse. I cannot get it. She's pressed me to threaten you. Why? Does she hold your secret too? Forgive me. Perhaps we courtiers are not unlike you courtesans. Our lives, like yours, are a constant game of sham. Do you ever long to break from that pretense? If I broke free and spoke my heart, the sea would bubble, the sky would turn red, and London would tumble into dust. I should like to witness that. You see? Say nothing. Come to me at breakfast. You must join us. I've already eaten, thank you. She came for silver, not spice bread. I propose. Little game. You tell me where my sister's money is destined, and we shall discover if Isabella has been telling fibs. Humour him, please, Miss Wells, or he'll be impossible. Very well. The money is to pay a debt. Oh, very good. Very good. What kind? He makes the game seem dangerous. I would rather be rolling dice. Surely not hazard, Lady Isabella. Not when you already have this debt to pay. Is that your answer, Hazard? It is. What a pair of colluding pixies you are! Hmm? He finds it hard to believe that I lose so often. He has not seen me play. No matter, ladies. My sister's luckless at dice, lucky in love. Do I, you can forgive this imposition? Of course.
What are you doing here, Mrs. Quigley? I wanted to thank you. Not seeing you again will be all the thanks that I need. If it were only that simple. <laughs> the information I guard for you grows larger by the day. <laughs> if I am to contain it, I will need further resources. I could have had your tongue cut out for less than I have paid you. It is not money I require, but introductions. You friends of high standing. <gasps> Emptying the coffers is one thing. But if I start parading you amongst our circle, I would be ostracized and ridiculed. You need not reveal my trade. I'm sorry, Lydia. But the Beaumont will simply not accept you. Persuade them. I will spare you the discomfort of making demands of me. Mrs. Quigley seeks powerful associates. She is poison. You are nectar. So you have been sent as her agent. You know her well. She is relentless. I will not have her anywhere near my circle. Only you. Perhaps if you do this, I can help you be free. You promised the impossible. I meant free for Mrs. Quigley. Do you call to me as an ally? A friend. How forward? But true. Izzy, there you are. Miss Wells. You're becoming a habit. As are your intrusions. Now, now, Izzy. We'll always talk to share our toys, won't we? I am not a toy. Quite so. And I'm appalled by my discourtesy. I prostrate myself in apology. Accepted. So long as you're not trying to look up my skirts. <laughs> Bravo. There are not many who dare chastise my self-exalted sibling. Well, I can see I'm being conspired against. I shall see you at the pleasure gardens, my dear. Do I get an invite? Pleasure is my business. It's the last night of the season. It would be a tragedy if you missed it. Don't you think so, Izzy? A calamity. Well, then you must join us. You've got what you came for. Half the peerage will be prowling the pleasure gardens tonight. Run and tell Mrs. Quickly. Charlotte has an admirer.
I guessed your business with my sister. So you've been thinking about me? It's not a hazard you've been playing, is it? It's a game for girls only. A game of flats? <laughs> what price for a taste of your oyster, Miss Wells? If you want a whore, go and plunge on your mother. We should retire somewhere more quiet. My room's perhaps. At least he asked if I was for sale. Miss Wells, let me offer you the sanctuary of some female company. Justice Hunt and reopen Golden Square. I've done you a favor this evening. What will you do for me? What would you have me do? It's quite simple, really. I want to destroy Lydia quickly. So do I. So how do you propose to do it? Why do you think I'm living with her? I'm waiting for my moment. Then we'll be allies. On one condition. Name it. <laughs> Lady Isabella. I came for a moment with Miss Wells. Oh. Miss Wells' time comes at a price. You promised. You paid me a hundred guineas. Oh, I should have known. A harlot can always be bought. My body, yes, but not my mind. He takes everything that is mine and makes it his. I live in a chamber of mirrors, and his is the only reflection I see. Then you must shatter it. I can't. You can. You locate a weakness, and you press. Did you learn that from Mrs. Quigley? She's the only one I wish to break. How can I help? She wants me to get close with your brother again. I understand. Is there anything else you want? You've already paid. I'm... My brother's card party tomorrow. Two o'clock. Bring the bitch. Your guests, Isabella. I thought you'd be glad to see your hall. Marquis, a pleasure. 
We don't mean to rankle you. We will be on this one of your games. If you will allow us. We're playing bestia. Pertinent, given our beastly host. Your proficiency at cards perceives you, Miss Wells. You drained my sister of a significant sum, did you not? Well, indeed, Miss Wells's deft hand will impress you no end. Please. Well played, sir. So, have you made your decision? About what? I want to be Miss Wells's keeper. It's an attractive offer. But I value my freedom. 600 a year. Harcourt, you're being vulgar. Vulgar? You invited the brothel to the party. Very well. All that to have you right now. Show me to your rooms. I now know why you revere our... Charlotte. Don't fear. He spent all his anger on me. Stay a moment. I need a drink. I'll accompany you. You don't want to go where I'm going. Where? Home. I feel sick. It's not your crime. It will be, so don't save her. Entrapment, rape, ruin. Then let's go to the justice now. I'm implicated in all of it. And he won't want to repeat it last night. We have to get the girl to him. How? We need someone trustworthy to bid for her and take her from the house. Do you know of anyone? I don't trust a single soul in my circle. Then you must go to Mama on Greek Street. She'll find someone. Yeah, it's over hundred pounds. I've known men bid two hundred for a virgin. Add to it if you can. Ma will too. You trust me to do this, Abigail. That's the girl's name. The sweet thing. Untarnished by our world. I'll be stay that way. My secret is a child. A daughter, born when I was very young. She's at a private boarding school in Chelsea. Sometimes I ride and watch her from the park. I've never tried to contact her. That's how she survives. You must move her. Lydia is vengeful. So is my brother. He bragged this morning, self-satisfied at what he'd done. Girlie, right? She cursed me. It was his crime, not yours. And everything he did was in punishment of me. How? Why? For rejecting him. When I was very young, he damned me with his lust. My child, she is his. He doesn't know. You are not damned. I am. 
I'm cursed. You're damned. <laughs> what a pair we are. No one has ever touched me since. No one ever will. Why should you forever be alone? Let me break his spell. offer you payment. Not unless you would offend. It was a gift. One that I took great pleasure in giving. Shauna, you must not come here. Something's happened. He threatened me with bedlam. I almost gave up my secret. If he cannot browbeat the truth from me, then he will buy it from Lydia quickly. Does she know where Sophia is? Yes. We must move her. Today. It's better. I need something from you. Help me keep my daughter safe and I will give you anything you ask for. My mother is charged with murder. You must intervene on her behalf and you must do it now. My brother is closing in. I don't have time to waste. You need my help? And I need yours. Let us work together. Lady Isabella, this is unexpected. We have come to plead on behalf of Margaret Wells. She defended her daughter from defilement by killing Sir George Howard. Even if it's true, a murder committed in defense of another is still a murder. But perhaps one that could be pardoned? <laughs> Lady Isabella, Surely you don't lend your name to such an absurd plea. I find men who visit brothels absurd. I beg your pardon? How absurd it is to pay for affection, then enjoy it as if it were real. This perfidious harlot has entangled you in her plot. Confirm it is so, I will show her the jail. Come, Miss Wells. We will attend our appointment with the Grub Street hack. Your brother would be horrified by your behavior. What smut he will make of the Lord Chief Justice and Mrs. Quigley. Don't be kind. Your tears will come. I need to be busy. Then let me give you a task. Only money will free us from my brother. I need the law's help to secure my inheritance. Come with me. Charlotte, I'm sorry for your loss, but you promised your help. I can't stay here. It's not fit for Sophia. You've got your child, and you're free of Lydia quickly. My sister is in the sway of a dangerous man. Forgive me, but your money has to wait. Mrs. Quigley came while you were out. They've taken the lady's daughter. I'm so sorry. You left me when I needed your help. I'm here now. When news up, bring your daughter back. We must go at once to my brother's. Lord's Fallon. 
Lidington and a pack of title brutes have been raping and killing girls. They kill Kitty Carter, Fanny. We have it from Fallon's own mouth. Nancy Birch has not tied at her house in Angel Court. And he's signing a confession saying that Quigley is their procuress. Your brother is their master. No. That's true. Not even dogs can dismiss such evidence. Then my brother's disgrace will be absolute. Yes. He'll fall. And your daughter will be safe. I must go home. She's in great and immediate danger. Perhaps you haven't understood. You're safe. I understand you very well. You've taught me to fend for myself. Now you'll see how well I do. Where's she going? On her own path. 